looking to improve your scientific writing, one of the simplest but most effective things that you could do is early on get in the habit of peer review. This doesn't have to be some sort of scary peer review where you're going to send a paper to a journal and then they determine your fate, whether you get published or not. No, I'm talking about that simple peer review where maybe you just swap papers with the classmate or you show your lab report to your lab mate and, or you practice your presentation with your lab mate before you actually go and present it. These sorts of informal peer reviews are so, so, so beneficial for both you as the reviewer and you as the person getting reviewed. I don't know if you've ever been to like a talk where there's some big wig scientists and they're giving a presentation that they've clearly given over and over and over, but there's like, clear typo in one of their slides, like maybe even in the title, but it's one of those things that like no one's going to point it out to a Nobel Prize winner that, yeah, you've got a typo in your slide. The great thing about like informal peer review is that you can tell your friend, um, hey, you've got a typo there. And your friend, maybe they don't notice that typo because they were the one that's written it. And when you've written something and you've read it over and over and over again, it's really, really hard to find your mistakes. But an outside review can find those mistakes. Not only can they find those mistakes, but they can also just kind of realize, um, find what doesn't make sense to an outsider. And so it can be helpful to have like a serious outsider read your paper, like maybe have a business major friend read your science paper, depending on the audience that the paper is intended for. But it can also be really helpful to have someone who does know what the assignment is, um, but maybe doesn't know the specifics of your project. Because similarly to how that Nobel Prize winner has given that talk over and over and over so they don't notice that typo, well, when you've written something and you are in so invested with a project, maybe you've researched it so much, either like physically in the lab or just online, in those cases, you know a lot about your subject, a lot more than the person that is reading the paper typically. And so you might make some assumptions about things that you don't even realize that you're making assumptions about that the audience doesn't have that background information to know. So you might be like skipping over some details that an outsider would be able to say like, what does that acronym mean? Or I don't know what you're talking about here. And so peer reviewing can be so, so helpful. When you are asking someone to review your paper, it's important to let them know like what type of feedback do you want? Yes, it's always really helpful to point out those typos, but sometimes if you're just giving someone like a first draft, there's gonna be a bunch of typos and you don't really expect them to be able to um, fix all those typos, or that's not even what you want their main focus to be. Maybe you want some bigger level thinking, like does the flow work? What sorts of information is missing? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Ask them to explain to you what you are trying to say, because it might not be what you think you're, what you actually are trying to say. They might be interpreting it differently, and that's really important for you to know, but you wouldn't know that unless you ask someone. So kind of tell them like, okay, well, can you comment on, maybe can you comment on the flow? Can you comment on the ordering? And yes, if you could point out a few typos, that's great, but I don't anticipate you to really just focus in on those typos. Whereas maybe later on, when you're like about to submit something, you might be like, can you really, really pay attention to see if there's any typos because I don't want to turn this in if I have these spelling errors. Um, as opposed to earlier on when it's like, okay, well, I know I'm going to go through this a bunch of times to fix those errors. And so I'd rather you focus your time on figuring out these, these more kind of big picture things, and then I'll do some editing and then maybe I can share it again with you. So at, tell them like what sorts of where in the process you are, what type of feedback would you like? When you are giving someone feedback, it's important to be constructive. Um, and so don't just say, yeah, this is great. Be actually like, be honest, but be nice about it. There's typically not just bad things and there's not just good things. Instead, there's both. It's important that you point both of those out. And you can, the way that you say things can really kind of soften the blow for something that outside of saying those nice things might seem kind of harsh, but you don't mean to seem harsh, you just mean to seem constructive. So say something like, wow, I really liked how you did this, this, and this. I was, however, a little confused about when you said this. Maybe you could do this and that would make it a lot better, but overall really great. So when you do give some like, I didn't understand this or I don't like this or whatever, don't just say you don't like it. Say how you would suggest making an improvement. This is going to really help them improve rather than just say like, oh man, my friend hates my writing. 
Another thing, don't take it personally. People are, when you give feedback to someone or when you receive feedback, that's supposed to help you. Um, and so some people might not be as nice as others when they do their feedback and they might not be as constructive as others, but they're typically at least at the baseline, if you if you send give it to someone that you really um, trust and feel comfortable with, they're really just trying to help. Um, and it wouldn't be helpful if they didn't point out those sorts of errors, just like it wouldn't be helpful if somebody doesn't point out that error in the slide of that Nobel Prize winner, although people typically aren't going to point out that error in the slide of the Nobel Prize winner. But that's where this kind of like informal peer review comes in so great, because you and your friends, like, Maybe, okay, maybe you're a little intimidated to share something with your friends if you're not so proud of your writing. But what you'll see is that if you do kind of like a swap where you swap papers with one another, you'll realize that their paper has a bunch of errors too. And maybe you make a lot of the similar errors that you didn't recognize in your own paper, but when you see it in someone else's paper, it's like, oh, I did that too. Or maybe you realize that you interpreted instructions slightly differently. And maybe then you should go and you should ask your instructor, okay, what did you really, what were you asking for in this? Um, is it more like this or is it more like this? Um, and maybe it's something where it could be either, um, but maybe it's something where you'd really misunderstood things. It's also one of these great things about kind of like doing these swaps with people at your own like writing level is that it's less, um, you, it's kind of less intimidating than just looking at those published papers and those published examples. And it's like, okay, well, I feel like my writing is here and that writing is there. How the heck am I going to go from here to here? But if you go and you see someone that's kind of more at the same level and you recognize in their paper that there are simple things that they could do to kind of take it level up, well, then you can see that there are simple things that you could do too in order to level up your paper. And so writing is an iterative process. We talk about like first drafts and final drafts and things like this, but really there is no sort of final draft because although you might turn it in eventually, there's always things that you could do to improve. And those things that you could do to improve, a lot of them you could find by just having someone look over your paper. Of course, if you want someone to look over your paper, you've got to give them time. And so that's why it's really important if it's like a school assignment or something with a strict due date, that you start early. Because if you wait until the last minute and then ask your friend to proofread your paper or to look over your paper at like 11 p.m. when the paper is due at 12, yeah, no. Even if they agree to it, they're probably not going to have time to put in the real, the real effort that would be most beneficial. So start early. That allows you not only give your reviewer time to look things over, but then it gives you time to build upon the feedback that the reviewer gave you in order to make a new version. So peer review, super duper helpful. It can be kind of like reciprocal. Maybe you're doing the same assignment. It can be, okay, well, I'll give you my assignment now. Maybe you give me an assignment later. We'll kind of re repay the favor for one another. Or maybe it's just like, hey, can you just look this over? Like, I don't, I know I can't offer anything in return, at least not right now, but I would really, really, really appreciate it. And so, yeah, it can also be done with like presentations. Not only just like, can you look over my slides, but can I go over my slides with you? Can I walk through things? All of these things is practicing this getting feedback, this giving feedback. So, so helpful. Get into the habit of it early on. We all have strengths. We all have weaknesses. Even the best writers will have things that they can improve upon. And even the best writers didn't start out as that great of writers. So it's a learning process. And one of the biggest things is to just don't feel embarrassed by your writing. Know that it is a learning process and really allow yourself to learn. It can be really easy to kind of get really attached to what you've written, but remember that when you look back later, you'll be at your, like how you improve things after from your first draft that you were so, so proud of that first draft. You'll be like, oh yeah, it really did benefit me that I changed things. So that's another thing is to kind of later on, once you've gone through a bunch of drafts, is to go and look at your first draft versus your final draft, see what you've changed, um, see why you've changed it, and really reflect on how those changes, at least hopefully, um, improved the paper dramatically or the writing dramatically or whatever you're trying to do. 
those strengths and weaknesses, even within writing itself. Some of us might not be that good at grammar, but some of us might be really good at like flow, logical flow of ideas, whereas others of us might be really good at the grammar and kind of um, making our sentences look pretty, but the kind of logical transitions are missing. And so by having one another that have certain strengths, complement one another's strengths, and point out one another's weaknesses in, in, a, in a nice way, of course. Remember that whole like sandwiching, like this was really great, however this blah, 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 but this was really great. So like couch the, couch the criticism and make it in a constructive way so that you not only give criticism, but it's constructive. And you say, not only was this like, I was confused by this, but maybe what you could do in order to make it less confusing would be blah, blah, blah. And so really just your job as a reviewer is to help your friend, is to help your colleague improve their writing. And although it might seem like you're putting in a bunch of work for them, you're actually getting a benefit yourself by being able to think through and see examples of writing and recognize what kind of works, what doesn't work, what you would might want to improve in your own writing and what sorts of problems you recognize in other people's writing that might also be present in your writing, as well as, hey, maybe I think I do this really well.